Hey all, Baruch Levy B here from the Defiant Spirit. Thanks for tuning in to my outdoor vacation studio where I'm doing a series every day on the um, fundamentals of each Enneagram type. Just a quick hit so that you can know what they are and discover your type because I get asked all the time, you know, what is that two thing again? How do I know if I am one? In every Enneagram system, Enneagram is uh, a personality energetic system where you can really see the fundamentals of how human beings move through the world. There's nine, any means nine, so there's nine fundamental types. They're all within you. Um, essentially, they're rank ordered. So as you go through these videos, rank order them. This may not be your core type, as I call it, your dominant type, but it's in all of us, and you certainly know people with this type, but I would argue that it's in you. The question is, is how much access do you have? How much does it dominate you? How much do you react? Or how much are you able to respond in your life? And that comes down to knowing your Enneagram type. So the Enneagram 2, called different things in different systems, doesn't matter what you call it. It's always a 2, but I call it the helper. I'm sometimes the giver, the nurturer, the lover. It's the same thing. And all of those really get to the heart of what a 2 is about. One word for 2's, connection. 2's are all about connection. Now, it can be a one-on-one -on -one connection. Some 2's are more introverted. Twos tend to be a little more extroverted, so it can be um, a family, it can be a group, it can be an organization, it can be a community, it can be a cause. But twos are all, it can be animals, by the way, I mean, it doesn't have to be a human being. Twos are about connecting to other life forms so that they can give. Look, twos understand what Albert Einstein said, who was definitely not a two, that we're here for the sake of other human beings. Twos get it. All human beings fundamentally need relationship. But twos, it's their oxygen. Um, twos are the ones who suffer the most oftentimes because life is beautiful and about relationship and connecting. It's also about losses. Everybody you love is going to at some point leave or you're going to leave them. That's a painful reality. Twos feel that when, when uh, they have the empty nest. Twos are more likely than any other type to really feel the impact of that. Twos give all their their whole heart they are the whole hearted type when twos are all in a relationship there's no other type no other person who gives like a two who shows up like a two they are present each type has a either past present or future orientation twos are hyper present why because in the present that's where you find relationships twos are about tending to those relationships giving to those relationships, nurturing those relationships. It is a superpower. However, every type has a shadow. And the, the shadow of the two is their superpower can become a kryptonite. When they define themselves, overly define themselves by the other, by the person across from them, by the group that they're a part of, they are the most likely type to either create or be a part of codependence or somewhere enmeshed, entangled in that codependent relationship. Twos, if they're unconscious, if they're reactive, have a primal need to be needed. All human beings have that, but with twos it becomes more pronounced because they've put so much of their resources and their identity on other, whoever that other is, that they look to the other to validate them. Again. This is in reaction. We can defy our number. We can choose our response. I work with so many twos who have defied their number. It's remarkable. However, it's a very hard thing to defy that lower side of our two nature because, you know, it's it's a, it's a drug of choice. Well, we need relationships all the time. It's not like you can abstain from relationships. You shouldn't move to a mountaintop and divorce yourself from the world. You got to navigate by being in um, not codependent, but interdependent relationships, healthy, functioning relationships. The work of a two is to remember that two halves don't make a whole. Two halves make a broken relationship. Two wholes coming together creates synergy. What does that mean? The work of a two is to find his or her way back to themselves. When a two realizes that making time for yourself, knowing your needs, getting your needs met is not selfish. It is self-centered. It is self-centering. It is putting yourself back at the center as an act of duty and responsibility. Their world is transformed. I work with so many twos where my job is to help them understand that this work, putting yourself at the center, whatever that means, maybe it means um, 
getting a massage. Maybe it means taking some quiet time. Maybe it means getting back into health nutrition. Maybe it means spending time on the call with a therapist, with me. Whatever it is, that's not selfish. That's self-centering. That's putting yourself back at the center of your life because if you're not at the center and you're running around and you're on the periphery of your own life, tending to other people's needs, anticipating them. My God, twos are unbelievable at anticipating other people's needs, knowing what they need. Twos know better what you need oftentimes than what, than you know of your own self and your own needs. The problem is, is if you're running around tending to everybody else, you're not tending to yourself. When you know everybody else's needs, oftentimes it's because you're avoiding your own or worse yet, you don't think you have any needs. So the work of a two is to get back to her center, to get back to her needs, to know what those needs are, to speak up about those needs, to, um, if not demand, then certainly be firm in getting her needs met. Sometimes people think they're a nine and a two. Nine's the peacemaker, two's the helper. They get, they're not sure. Here's the difference. Both of them can lose themselves. Both of them can give up their needs, um, prioritizing the needs of others. The nines are doing it because they're oftentimes afraid of conflict, of disrupting the pot. Is that right? No, stirring the pot, disrupting the status quo. Twos are doing it because they don't want to jeopardize the relationship. And those are very different motivations. So twos are motivated by relationships and they will not voice their needs, not demand that they get their needs met because they don't want the relationship to be in jeopardy. What I will say to a two is that's not a real relationship. If your relationship can't withstand you speaking up, speaking your truth, receiving as much as you get, then maybe the relationship needs to be challenged or rethought or altogether let go. I think a lot of twos come to midlife and they realize that they've given themselves away and that they don't want to spend the second half of life continuing um, this pattern of not prioritize, prioritizing themselves, of making themselves small, of um, this ridiculous mantra that we live by in our society, that it's better to give than receive, that is crap. It is irresponsible to only give and not receive. You have a duty as a two to allow others to give to you, to teach others how to give to you, but more importantly, to learn how to be able to receive. Receiving for a two is so hard. It goes against your grain. It goes against everything you've been taught. It goes against everything you've told yourself. You're not going to jeopardize your relationship if you speak up, if you speak your needs and you receive those needs when others give them to you. And if it does, then maybe it's time to rethink those relationships. Twos are about connection. Twos are about people. Twos are about giving at the deepest level. Twos are also about responsible, sustainable relationship. And that it means also receiving. You deserve to receive. You deserve love um, because you certainly have so much of it to give. You have given it. You will continue to give it. I don't worry about that with my twos. It's time now to put yourself back at the center and learn how to receive. That's Enneagram 2, the helper, in a nutshell, less than 10 minutes, um, sitting in a beautiful setting and just talking to you. All of you meaning seekers out there who are seeking meaning, purpose, and resilience, if you want more, jump over to defiancepirit.org. Until the next time, defy your number, live your spirit.